Hey everybody, you're listening to Asian Influence, your ticket to Asia through music and arts, only on CHO 89.1 FM. And today we're joined by special guest. She goes by the name of Martina Ortiz Luis. Some of you may know her as the national anthem singer for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and some of you may also know her as Rachel Valdez on the hit show Winona Earp. Hey there, Martina, how are you today? I'm good. First off, thanks for doing this. I want to start by asking, you were a singer first, what made you want to pursue acting? Um, so yeah, I've always had a love for both. And when I was a young kid, I loved to perform Disney songs and scenes for my parents. But um, I think singing and music was something that came a little more naturally to me. And so that side of me um, definitely took off a bit earlier. What people don't know is I actually started taking acting classes when I was around 11 or 12 years old. And I'd been auditioning for roles for a few years now uh, before landing this role on Winona. So okay. I I really just, I've definitely had a passion for both for pretty much my whole life. And in previous decades, Asian representation in TV have been lacking. Are you aware of the impact that you may have when Asian people see someone that looks like them on screen? Um, well, you know, growing up, I don't think I ever saw people who looked like me on TV, though more recently, it's getting a lot. Yeah, better. for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I really hope that through all my work, you know, whether it's music and acting, that Asian people can see someone who looks like them in that type of media. And actually, what's really funny is I play a Hispanic character. It's pretty common for yeah. Filipino yeah. to um, be casted as Hispanic or Asian, I guess, mm -hmm. since, of, since we share um, a similar colonial history. I guess yeah. at some point we tend to look <laughs> like either or. Um, but since the show's aired, I've received so many lovely messages from Filipino, Hispanic, and like other Asian fans of the show um, telling me how much it means to them to see someone representing them on screen. And honestly, just receiving those messages and seeing the love and support from these groups of people that don't get to see someone who looks like them yeah. um, on screen too often. It just um, means the world to me. I was going to ask if the role was specifically written for an Asian person, but you mentioned it was meant for a Hispanic person, but I guess you just did so well at the audition that they had to go with you, right? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right, this next question is for our listeners who are hockey fans. Do you have any cool stories, moments, or memories working with the Toronto Maple Leafs organization? Getting to perform and just stepping out onto the ice, really, every night is a whole new experience and still not tired of it. Well, I have to say probably the first home opener. It was my first season with them and stepping out onto the ice and seeing all these people and because it was their 100th season, they had these like special bracelets with like lights. And so you could look out into the crowd and it was just like this sea of just like lights. And it was so surreal. And I actually got a little emotional after. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I've met so many incredible people. Um, the Leafs players are so nice. And everyone who works there, Brendan Shanahan, Kyle Dubas, like they're all so kind. Do you have any favorite Filipino dishes? Um, listen, I'm not a picky eater at okay. all. So I love like so many Filipino dishes, like um, dinuguan. For our listeners who don't know what that is, can you? Can That's you basically pork blood. And then of course, like adobo and menudo, caldereta, lumpia, pancit, okay. you know. And, you know, some people are really iffy about balot, the egg with yeah. the baby duck in it. But um I personally love it. When I was a kid, I used to love that until I got older and realized what it actually was. One day I saw a beak inside my egg and I'm like, that's when I, I couldn't do it no more. <laughs> you were like, this ain't right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, being that we are a radio show, do you listen to any Asian musicians? I listen to, I love to listen to Bruno Mars and her, who are both Filipino, um, Anderson Pack, Korean, Ravina, who's Indian, yeah. and Conan Gray. Mm -hmm. and uh, I haven't gotten too into K-pop yet. BTS's new song, Dynamite. I wasn't really into K-pop, but when I got the job hosting the show, I really had to like study up on it. And of course, the listeners want to know, do you have any projects, singles? When can they expect new music? Um, okay, so I've got some original songs that I've been working on and that are in the works right now. And I'm really hoping to release it in the next few months. 
Um, so you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, updates on that. And my music can be found hopefully on here on 89.1. Yeah, yep, for sure. <laughs> and, and then of course, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, et cetera. And I hope the Asian community will continue yeah. to support me through my music and acting journey. No doubt they will. Once again, thank you so much, Martina. I don't want to take up too much of your time. To our listeners, be sure to stream her newest single, No Love, available on all streaming platforms. Tune in to see her on Winona Earp. <laughs>